uh, first of all thanks to adstock for you know asking me about my opinion regarding how marketing and advertising is going to be affected after all this covid thing is uh, over uh, i'm kashyap shakya one of the co-founders at pikus holdings uh, it's a new brand consultancy firm uh, we also do the works of ad agency uh, we've been here in the market for about almost three years now uh, I've, I've worked in the fmcg segment and uh, some service segment for almost past 15 years uh, in the marketing field and uh, specializing in the area of brand and uh, consumer behavior i also teach at uh, some of the colleges right now uh, for example ace my opinion about how marketing and advertising is going to be affected uh, that's actually if you really ask me marketing and uh, advertising is the secondary part okay so for marketing and advertising to uh, to run again normally uh, one thing that we have to understand is the primary industry have to you know come to life so that means marketing and advertising can only take place when they have clients so by clients we mean you know all the banks and the fmcg and the services and the hotels and everything running around so basically we uh, working in the advertising and marketing industry have to think about uh, how those primary industries are going to survive and how those primary industries are going to come back and how are they going to to you know uh, operate after this thing is over so our uh, our marketing and advertising the industry uh, may be affected by that also and there may be a i personally foresee a lot of uh, you know trend changes uh, in this marketing and advertising for example i think everybody knows about it one of the most important things uh, that's going to happen is that uh, the digital uh, uh, marketing will grow very very drastically uh, other if you look into some services for example i think uh, nepalese during this one month's lockdown time have uh, understood uh, the, under the 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 service of you know home deliveries so maybe home delivery and you know delivering services will pick up after immediately after this covid thing is over even after the situation has become normal so it's it's become habitual habitual so uh, online banking you know digital banking cashless banking uh, will maybe become very very popular after this so there will be other areas also maybe domestic tourism will grow drastically because uh, i think uh, the international tourism will be you know um, halted for quite some time because the international flights you know and even if you look at countries like america and italy and spain which have been highly affected uh, we may not expect tourists from those nations for quite some time after this thing is over even even if it is only in our part of the world so there's going to be a lot of changes so it's basically about how the marketing and advertising uh, you know industry is going to uh, in a way innovate uh, as per how the clients are going to uh, operate okay uh, maybe after a month uh, no business and no revenues uh, maybe the companies will be very conscious about their spendings so definitely we'll have to think about how to optimize their you know uh, advertising and marketing spends so in this particular area the marketing and uh, advertising agencies can actually think about innovating for example and i just mentioned about the digital marketing thing maybe the mainstream media will uh, will have us i won't say it's, it's it's going to completely you know uh, stop but definitely there's going to be a little bit of less spending on mainstream media and more on uh, the digital uh, digital media so uh, again one more thing is like it's a very good time to be talking about this issue because you know yesterday was bara baisak and a few years ago we experienced one of the biggest earthquakes and that was very devastating where almost more than 9000 people died but uh, what we have to understand is uh, nepalese people in a way are very resilient we actually um, you know uh, passed that particular phase and became normal in a very very uh, you know uh, very 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 soon actually okay so that's that's the good part about us nepalese people and the economy was back in track uh, during the uh, the blockade uh, you know our gdp had gone down to 0.7% and i think we came back to 7% within a year's time so we've been facing these problems and i think this should not be a very new thing as well uh, uh, we understand that the nepalese population do have a certain amount of savings and i i won't hesitate to say that after this thing is over they'll start they, they may come out and you know start spending at least uh, maybe due to frustration of staying at home for one month and maybe some other reasons as well uh, people will be buying i see the nepalese economy to actually uh, flourish immediately uh, after this thing uh, and uh, since we are not so dependent upon uh, a lot of international country you know, our our imports are mostly from india and china so i think if things are normal there uh, our life out here should also be normal 
uh, many Indian MNCs working out here. Uh, so I think uh, these companies, uh, you know, the trade with China, most probably if it is uh, opened up, uh, again, the things will get back in track. So uh, I see that uh, a few after, uh, apart from a few changes, uh, I think uh, mostly it is not, uh, we may not be able to think that the advertising and marketing is going to completely slump and, you know, it, it's going to uh, close down or uh, there may be a very difficult time. No, I, I see a lot of positive aspects as well. For example, I see that uh, the agricultural sector, the domestic agricultural sector to grow. So there could be companies, uh, bigger companies who are thinking about investing or, you know, who have already invested in the domestic uh, you know, agricultural uh, business, and maybe they they now they may start looking into uh, professionally advertise and market their products. So I positively see uh, a lot of uh, you know good happenings after this thing. Uh, the only negative thing that is is this COVID thing at the moment. So I I, I see a very positive uh, you know uh, I, I see a very positive. Uh, part after this thing is over uh, yes it will take some time definitely because it has been a very uh, very very big and a global issue altogether so definitely takes so it will take its toll but toll but uh, still uh, I, I am pretty hopeful and i'm pretty positive about it thank you